A few months ago, your companies asked us to do research into inland and short sea autonomous shipping. In this pitch, we will present our research, an overview of a realistic future for autonomous shipping, and moreover, we will present an advice on short-term strategies that can be implemented within your companies. It is clear that autonomous ships are on their way. At this moment, the question is just when the ships will be ready for implementation, which is something that largely depends on your involvement. The future of the shipping industry will likely focus on collaboration, localization and co-creation, something that can be profitable for you just because of autonomous ships. If timely involved in the development, you will have the opportunity to influence the industry and be ready for this social technical change. However, before diving into this, uh, we would like to tell you a bit more about autonomous shipping and what it actually entails. Autonomy is the ability of a machine to control itself or a part of a system. This means it is very broad and rather a spectrum than one point in technological advancement. In the end state of autonomous shipping, we see it being fully autonomous. The most important technology in autonomy is artificial intelligence, a concept of AI which is specifically hard is sensor fusion. To quickly explain AI and sensor fusion, imagine you're walking through a forest and a bird lands on your shoulder. You first feel the bird land and when you turn your head you can see it. Combining your senses to determine what's happening is sensor fusion. This is important because if you only felt something on your shoulder and couldn't see, you still wouldn't know what's happening. The artificial intelligence in this case is your brains, which determine what is happening. They get input from your skin and eyes and put the pieces to find out that there is a bird on your shoulder. In autonomous shipping, the AI and especially the process of sensor fusion should be upgraded. To do this, additional money into the research, development and testing of AI and sensor fusion is required. With these resources present, it is expected to develop quickly. Autonomous shipping has many opportunities and potential benefits, ranging from environmental to financial benefits. On the slide you can see an example of a chain of benefits. As autonomous ships require less crew, crew expenses will be reduced, making slow steaming possible. Slow steaming is a slower way of sailing, which reduces fuel use, uh, which makes it cheaper and more sustainable. This has great potential, especially considering the current societal trends and recent developments such as the Shell case, uh, that they have to cut down on their emissions. This is an overview of all benefits and opportunities of autonomous shipping, and some of them do not require full autonomy, and others will likely emerge from investments in autonomous technologies. All benefits do strengthen the potential return of investment though, also on a shorter term. And on this slide you can see an example of an autonomous ship developed by a Chinese company. And this ship promises to cut down on uh, operational costs by 20%. And we recommend investing in autonomous technologies early on to retain the good position of your company. Thank you, Wouter. These opportunities have started to leave pen and paper. Starting with the Mayflower vessel, which is electric, compact, fully autonomous and focused on collecting oceanographic data. The next example is the Ida Birkeland, a battery operated, zero emission autonomous container vessel. It now carries a small crew, but the bridge can be removed when the ship is ready to become fully autonomous. Another example is the autonomous tugboats that aid in port logistics. These are already being tested in Japan. These examples highlight the current opportunities. However, there are still challenges to be tackled, like regulations, technology, investments and port infrastructure. Yet, you have the potential and power to overcome these. And now, Percy will give a scenario and advice on how these can be overcome. To get a peek into the future, we drew a scenario that shows a path towards an end state for autonomous shipping in 30 years. This aims to account for the main challenges, issues, trends and dynamics of the shipping industry, as well as the world at large. During the first 10 years, we show a likely progression of actions to Im initiate implementation. Here, we deal with challenges such as technology developments, a seafarer phase-out and public acceptance. Here, the main actions are trials and research, as well as regulation building and roundtable discussions. In the next 10 years, we demonstrate a process for the implementation of semi-autonomous as well as fully autonomous ships. This is sh actually shown to be slightly rushed because of our predictions due to the opportunities seen by companies, promising positive test results, a highly competitive environment, 
a general trend towards automation, as well as the effects of a hype cycle. At the end of this period, we describe a cyber attack disaster scenario. This demonstrates what, what changes could be brought up by such an event, but it also shows what could go wrong if implementation is too rushed. In the last 10 years, we deal with all the changes that are likely to occur, some of which are already visible. Here, trends include shifts in societal as well as business values, a push for sustainability and collaboration, and shift towards localized supply chains that are more flexible, redundant and versatile. These are accompanied with technological, logistics and communication developments, as well as a shift towards value co-creation business models. Finally, we describe a possible and ideal vision for fully autonomous short sea and inland shipping in which sustainable development, transparency and communication go hand in hand with generating profits and value for companies and the society at large. We have set up a plan of steps to take in the coming 10 years to be a successful company in the autonomous shipping industry. It starts with needing to invest and collaborating with other parties. The European Commission will most likely facilitate this collaboration. The benefit of doing this is that the necessary technology will keep developing, resulting in a final product. Furthermore, it will enable the sharing of knowledge which results in a quicker development process. An important step that needs to be taken is pushing the European Commission, the IMO and the classification societies for both policies, regulations and guidelines, all regarding autonomous shipping. Therefore, it is advised that some lobbying or pressure is taking place to ensure this. Finally, there will likely be a seafarer phase out. To make this transition smooth, it's best to start preparing for that right away. Also during the scenario, some less favorable events occurred for the shipping companies. These can be prevented if the proper steps are taken and scenarios are prepared for. Suppose the development of ships is not rushed and cybersecurity is tackled early, there is less chance of the disaster happening. Additionally, we foresee a trend towards localization. So if you already start preparing for this and creating some plans for the future, it will keep you relevant and competitive in the long run. During our research, we have analyzed the current state of the technology and the trends that were visible within the shipping industry, the logistics industry and beyond. From here, a plausible scenario was built with a vision that I can realistically present in the future. Although the future might be uncertain, humans are generally quite predictable. Hence, it is expected that the presented trends will stay relevant. When looking at all the opportunities that autonomous ships offer, such as less crew cost and slow steaming, which allows them for both financial and environmental benefits, involving yourself in the process right now is extremely important. Therefore, we have presented a plan that describes the suggested actions for the coming 10 years. The incentive behind all of these actions is to stay relevant and competitive within the industry. When staying relevant in such a fast-paced world, it is important to keep up with all the innovations. This can not only be achieved by investing a lot of money, but also by playing a key role in the design development and regulations of the ships and by preparing for what the future holds. Now everything is coming close to being set in stone. This is the moment to jump on and represent your voice before the only thing you can do is sail along.